Dear colleagues, my name is Dr. Michael Weber from Germany. Today I want to show you the new method of intravenous laser blood irradiation with the different spectral colors. This modern new technology was developed by Dr. Michael Weber and his team in Germany in 2004 and 2005. The idea behind it is to give energy into the bloodstream using all the different spectral colors from the sunlight and also ultraviolet and infrared. Later I will explain you how the different colors are working in the bloodstream but uh, first of all I want to show you the device what we are using. This device was also developed by Dr. Michael Weber and his team in Germany in 2004 and 2005. It can be equipped with total 12 different laser modules with all spectral colors uh, using red, green, blue, yellow visible colors but also ultraviolet and infrared invisible colors. So you see the different models on the device and uh, later I will show you how this device is working and how the laser is going into the bloodstream. First of all, we have to put a needle in our patient using a special butterfly. You know, if we put a butterfly into the bloodstream, normally the butterfly has a tube at the end. This butterfly has only a closure cap and no tube, so that we can insert a special plastic fiber optic catheter into the needle and then connect it to an optical fiber coming from the laser model and then lead the laser beam into the bloodstream. Sterilize this a little bit. It's good to use a vein in the cubital area here. Normally we find the best veins here, but also you can use other veins on the forearm. So this is my butterfly and I will now put it into the vein, okay. Okay, the needle is inserted. It will be fixed with some tape. Was painful? No, oh, it's okay. No, it's okay. Now it's a small needle, 22G. So, now in the next step we will insert the sterile catheter. Please uh, leave that your arm a little bit up so that the blood is not running out when I remove the closure cap. Okay, and now I will put the catheter inside and close it by turning. You see, it's a very quick and easy procedure. So now we want to give the laser beam into the bloodstream and we start with the red laser. You see this device has 12 channels. So I press red and uh, we'll start the red laser. You see the red laser beam on the shirt here. And now I will connect it to my catheter using this small adapter and now you can see okay now you can see the red laser going directly into the bloodstream okay so the question is what is the red laser doing in the bloodstream the red laser will not bind to the red blood cells this will reflect the red light but on the other hand the red blood cells will be stimulated they uh, will be improved in their deformability and so we have an improved microcirculation. However, we have a lot of white blood cells in the bloodstream and the white blood cells of course represent the immune system. So we have lymphocytes, different ones, B cells, T cells, we have neutrophils, we have monocytes. They all will be stimulated so we have a big impact on the immune system. So the different uh, lymphocytes will be improved in their relationship, uh, T-cells and B-cells, 
There's a general stimulation. On monocytes, we have a degranulation of uh, serotonin, which will be improved into the body, and also melatonin, which has also a huge antidepressive effect. So I will stop the red laser now, and I will connect the green laser. You see the green laser is a strong light, yeah, and then I will connect it. And what we can see here? Nothing, yeah? Where's the difference? The red laser is reflected from the red blood cells, so we can see the spot here. But green binds to red, so we have a high uptake of energy from green light to the red blood cells. And we know that there is more free hemoglobin in the bloodstream because about 15% of the hemoglobin is not only on the erythrocytes, 15% is on the vessel walls and the green laser will detach the hemoglobin from the vessel walls which then leads to more hemoglobin in the bloodstream with better oxygen uptake. It will be approved about 15-20%. So we stop the green laser and we'll connect to the next one, the blue one. This is the blue 405 laser, so it's very close to the ultraviolet spectrum, so it's more blue-violet, okay? And I will connect this one now to the catheter, and we cannot see anything. It's the same thing. Also, the blue light will be absorbed uh, nearly 100% from the red blood cells. And the blue light is extremely important. The question is why. The key is the so-called nitric oxide. You know that we produce nitric oxide all the time during walking and running. And nitric oxide is well known that it can open up the microcirculation. So... Um, the nitric oxide is not free in the bloodstream, but is a radical and it binds to a complex to hemoglobin. And using the blue laser, the nitric oxide will be dissociated from the hemoglobin and immediately opens up the circulation. Yeah, in the brain, in the heart, in kidney, everywhere in the body. So it's a very important laser for, especially for cardiovascular diseases. Okay, stop it, and we go to the next one. We go to the yellow laser. The yellow laser is a new one. It looks like gold. Many doctors call it golden laser. And it has really a golden effect. The yellow laser was very difficult to manufacture because it uh, takes a lot of energy and the model becomes hot, so we see we have a new model here with an integrated fan cooling. And now it's very stable. So I connect the yellow laser to my catheter. And you can see a tiny spot here of yellow light here. Yeah? So you see the difference between the lasers on the different blood cells. The question is, what is the yellow laser doing? The yellow light laser is something which brings more serotonin in the bloodstream, so it has a huge antidepressive effect. It has a detoxification effect. It brings happiness into the body and people can sleep better because they have more melatonin. So we step the, we stop the yellow laser and in the next step we use the new ultraviolet laser. Ultraviolet, the ultraviolet laser is a new development from 2017. You see, we can see a little bit blue spot. And I connect now the ultraviolet laser. We cannot see anything here. The question is, what is the ultraviolet laser doing? I think you know that ultraviolet laser blood irradiation has a long history was already done first time 1927 already in the United States from Dr. Knott. And we know from a hundred years 
research that ultraviolet light can kill bacteria and viruses in the blood. So the ultraviolet laser is extremely important to clean the blood from chronic infections, viruses, we can use it in hepatitis, B or C, we can use it in Lyme disease or even in HIV. So this new development is very, very important. So at the end, I want to tell you why did we develop all the spectral colors. The deeper sense of bringing all the spectral colors into the body is stimulation of the mitochondria. You know the mitochondria are our energy factories in the body. And in the mitochondria we produce our life energy, the ATP. And if we look a little bit deeper in the mitochondria, on in the inner membrane, we have the different complexes yeah, where the ATP is set up. Yeah? And all these complexes were made in sunlight. And we know today that the different complexes in the mitochondria where the energy is produced are stimulated by the different spectral colors. So in principle, we are stimulating with the different colors, the mitochondria, the ATP production, we keep the mitochondria strong and so we can keep the body strong. So in my opinion, there's nothing better to keep our life energy and it's the best anti-aging therapy at the end what we can do. Thank you very much.